right angle triangle trigonometry, a quick review of finding unknown angles and sides. Four steps every time we want to find an unknown angle or an unknown side. First step, always label your sides. I tend to just label the sides that have something on them so there's no value here on the adjacent in the first question I don't label it. I have hypotenuse and I have opposite. The second step is always choose our ratio. The sides that I've got tell me which ratio I can use. If I've only got opposite and hypotenuse I'm going to have to use sine. Write your ratio. Sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Remember to put the theta in. Next step is always substitute the values. That is sine of 31 degrees. Don't forget the degrees sign equals opposite is x hypotenuse is 7 and then my fourth step covers a little bit of complexity that's sure but the next thing we do is solve it sine of 31 degrees is x divided by 7 I want x on its own I have to do the opposite of dividing by 7 to both sides I multiply by 7 7 sine 31 degrees equals x. Grab your calculator. Whoops, clear it. Check for today that you're in degrees mode. Yes, we are. Good. And 7 times sine 31. If it's just degrees, we don't need to put in the degrees sign equals and x is 3.61 our units were meters. Four lines of working every time you solve a triangle problem in trig. Next question. Still using those steps. Firstly, label our sides. Here I have the hypotenuse and the adjacent Second step, choose your ratio. Cos of the angle is adjacent over hypotenuse. That's the only one we can use. We've got adjacent and hypotenuse. Third step, substitute your values. Cos of 62 degrees 41 minutes equals 6 over y. Right, we have two things that are tricky here. One, the unknown is on the bottom, which means it's not going to be quite as simple to solve the equation. And two, we've got the angle in degrees and minutes, which we, means we need to enter it that way. When the unknown is on the bottom, there's a couple of ways of thinking about it. Get y up to the top. You can't do anything with divide by y, which means we're multiplying by y on both sides. I'll put this line just over here a bit because you don't really need it. y times cos 62 degrees 41 minutes equals 6. Now you don't really need that line because you can jump straight to realizing, well, if I need to get y on its own, I need to divide by cos 62 degrees, 41 minutes, on both sides, which means you've got y equals 6 over cos 62 degrees, 41 minutes. Sorry, my equal signs should have lined up. I got messy. So there's various different ways that you might remember that. Some of you just remember when the unknown is on the bottom, you divide. That's okay, as long as you remember what to divide by. Um, some people always just put the number 
in front of cos 62 degrees 41 minutes and remember that it's the y was on the bottom so you must divide that works for some people however you remember it get it right and then of course we just calculate it 6 divided by cos 62 remember we go second function angle degrees 41 second function angle minutes pop your brackets in 13.07 and we are in millimeters so you see I still only want four lines of working because I don't really need this line that I popped over here you've just got to remember what you're doing with multiplying and dividing last question finding angles we still use those same steps first step label sides I've got opposite and I've got adjacent that tells me I've only got one ratio I can use it's tan tan theta equals opposite over adjacent I still substitute in my values. Tan theta equals opposite was 20, adjacent was 150. Now here's where it's different, but again our final step is to solve. Now remember, we want to get theta on its own. We've got tan with it, we need to do the reverse of tan or the inverse of tan. To both sides. So we get theta equals inverse tan 20 over 150, pop it in brackets there, inverse tan you'll remember above the tan button here, second function tan 20 divided by 150, close your bracket and there we go now we want to the nearest minute, that's in decimal, so of course second function and 4 for DMS. 7 degrees, now it's 35 minutes, but the next seconds is 40, so 36 minutes. And we're done.